Would you eat a vat-grown hamburger? When science first announced they could make a burger in a lab, the cost to do so was astoundingly $325,000. Here we are, two years later, and the price has dropped to around $11. Guys, does that make it more appealing now that you don't have to take out a loan to eat one? Or does the whole grown-in-a-lab thing still bother you? Dan, why don't you get us started? Well... You know, here's the thing. It's I, I'll eat a McRib sandwich, so obviously I really don't care. Right. You're um, used to eating meat that's not real meat. <laughs> no, yeah. not, not, not to slide. All right, hang on. Legally, I don't know oh. if that, we can say that. Oh, like, right. We're just making My a bad. joke. Just making a I joke. Eat, uh, I eat a processed pork product by a major chain <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> so you you would have no qualms with eating something grown in a petri dish? No, I I mean honestly, I mean let's be, let's be serious. Growing up as kids, we've probably ingested more than our fair share of of test tube snacks. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, we have, and I don't think this is any different than that. I don't have any qualms with it. It's like, bring it on. If if we can if we can manufacture food on a larger global scale for right. less money than it costs to raise a, a cow out in the field, I'm all for it. Right. I mean, we manufacture foods that taste like other things, and the majority of people are okay with that. It's just the fact that we're manufacturing something that is a replacement for a living thing, which I, I feel gives people a, a little bit of an ick factor. The biggest right. problem, I think, and the biggest ick factor, really, is that they're going to have a hard time gaining acceptance of this if they keep using, uh, if they keep being very open about the process and using terms like Petri yeah. dish and fetal calf serum. Yeah. It's just, that, that might be bad. As long as they don't call it Soylent Green, I think. We're right, right, right. Come up with something a little cuter, like, I don't know, yeah. Moo Fluid. We, we right. raise our burgers in Moo Fluid. I agree. They, they need to fix the terminology. Otherwise, I think a lot of people would be on board, especially now that it's a lot more affordable. But like before, it was kind of like, whoa, that's like crazy. First of yeah. all, like, no, I wouldn't try it. It's too expensive. But now that it's, right. the price is, I mean, that's relatively quickly that the yeah. price has come down. That. I mean, it's gone from being a theoretical to something actually within reach as long as they just bring up, ramp up production. Right. Uh, so you're going to eat one? I, I, I try it. As someone who doesn't eat meat, I would try it. Oh. I absolutely would try it. Yeah. Oh, that's I, interesting. I'm down for it. Yeah. I mean, that, I mean that, that does bring up the vegetarian aspect of it is if it's if it's raised and no, no animal was killed to make it, does right. it mean I, that it's vegetarian meat? It, sh it oh. should be. I mean, if, from what I understand, all they do is take a sample of the muscle tissue of the yeah. cow, like a small little sample, and, I mean, the cow's still alive, you know, and they just use the Petri dish and do whatever scientific magic they do to it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the next thing you know, you have a burger. Right. This is probably an ethical debate for a much more knowledgeable show right. than ours. <laughs> yeah, I'm about, sure it is. about consumer news, but uh, what I am excited most about this is that if it works on cows and they can, like, you know, uh, get the process going, then they can they can make work this magic on on all kinds of other am animals, like uh, like like near extinct uh, animals, like 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 pandas. You know, and finally we could find out how endangered species taste without. <laughs> Have to join one of those like weird underground millionaires clubs right, right. <laughs> that eat the last uh, of the kind, you know? <laughs> good point. Actually, you do bring up a good point because I mean, I I'd love to have some duck billed platypus. That would be okay. awesome. Yeah, just think think about it. like uh, I don't know. I all extinct species are are not coming to mind at all. But, <laughs> I know, Fry. I can't think of any. But I would love to put them between a bun and eat them. <laughs> Is what I'm saying. Who wouldn't? Ketchup, Who wouldn't? tomato, lettuce. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. That's well, really that's pretty amazing. I mean, in all actuality, I mean, the price is down. It's what eleven bucks now. Yeah. As opposed to the three hundred twenty-five grand. Right. Yeah. And supposedly they passed. It passed a lot of taste tests where they said like this tastes right. like this tastes like meat. Like I think wow. what might be tricky is the texture. The texture of it. Yes. Like that, that might be a little bit tricky. <clears throat> like, I feel like whenever I eat like a soy burger or like a tofu burger or something like that, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's good, but the texture's a little bit off. It doesn't, it doesn't yeah. feel like I'm eating a yeah. beef patty, you know? It's not the same. Right? It's not the same, right. Burgerizing it probably goes a long way to hide that because, I mean, it's taking meat and just grinding it all up and then smashing it into a patty. Right. But 
I, I wonder if you could get like the raw material that they grow in the lab, which I guess it, it when when they're making it, it, it starts making like these thin pink noodles. So kind of the the it kind of looks like ground beef already. You know how you kind oh, of have like okay. the right, thin right, noodles right. just all kind of crammed together. So I don't know hamburger. That's... I'm willing to try it. Yeah. Well, that's our two cents. What's yours? Would you eat a lab-grown hamburger? Let us know in the comments below for DealNews.com along with Luis Ramirez and Dan Ledbetter. I'm Jeff Summerjee. Goodbye.